Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Current Affairs Hub. So before going into the video, I wanted to thank two important persons who have mentored me in the UPSC journey. First is my father, Mr. S. Palnivelo, who is now no more, who has taught me the crucial important value of perseverance, that is the fight till you achieve your dream. Second person is my personal mentor or guru, Shankar sir, who is also now no more, who always used to say me that common sense is not commonly used in the UPSC examination and that is also true. So in this video, I am going to discuss how to fail in UPSC examination. Here I am going to share my own unique experience due to which I lost the service and I was placed in UPSC reserve list. That is lack of time management during the examination hall. Why I am talking about this is because I have left around 55 marks in the UPSC mains examination and I lost the main list by just 2 marks which I will show you also in this video very detailly when I am talking about myself. But what I would advise to the candidates who are preparing for this examination and even the candidates whom and the students whom I am entering in the UPSC exam is to handle the time properly not only during the examination hall, also during the preparation process. You have to utilize the time effectively to come out successful in this examination. So how you can do that time management very well? We will be discussing about that in the coming videos in our channel. So kindly subscribe to our channel. And now I am going to discuss about my own uni UPSC journey and the experience and my past achievements in the UPSC arena till now. Since this is the first video of our YouTube channel, so I wanted to take some time to introduce myself to you all people so that you can feel a sense of trust and what I can assure you is that you are at the right place at the right time so kindly subscribe to our channel so to describe about me especially my UPSC journey I have started this preparation in 2009 and I have completed my preparation in 2019 so around 11 years of UPSC aspirant experience I have and in addition I started teaching from 2013 itself when I was an aspirant and till now I have been teaching, mentoring the UPSC candidates to clear this examination. So as I said earlier, I have faced two UPSC interviews, one in 2013, that is the old syllabus, before we had two optionals, that is before 2013 and after 2013, only one optional is now introduced by UPSC and I went interview in the new syllabus also in 2017 and in the last interview when I went, I was placed in the UPSC reserve list. So I have displayed you here my scorecard in the final UPSC examination in which I faced the interview. You can see here in the GS paper 2, I got 71. This is mainly because I left three questions in the examination for which I had an answer. But due to lack of time management, I was unable to complete the paper and even in the GS paper 4 ethics also, I left around two case studies. So overall, I left around 55 marks as I said earlier in the video and this costed me so much that I missed not only the crucial services such as IAS, IPS or IRS but I was left out of the main list and I was only placed in the reserve list. So to make things very clear to you, you can see here the cutoff mark for OBC candidate is 951 and I got around 949. So because of two marks I left the main list and through this what I wanted to tell to the future aspirants is that this examination is so much competitive not because of the nature of the questions asked in the examination but because of the number of candidates who are aspiring in India or who are appearing for this examination and the number of vacancies which is comparatively very less. That is every year around 5 lakh candidates are appearing for this examination out of which only 700 to 800 candidates are placed in this service. So due to these low vacancies and the increasing number of candidates who are aspiring for this examination, the competition is getting tougher year after year. So what you have to do is that you have to understand the seriousness of this fact and you have to make sure that you have to address the time management not only during the preparation as well as during the examination hall very well. Why I am saying this as two segments? Because preparation is completely different and how you perform inside the exam hall is a separate process which you need to learn. Fine, these are the things which we will be discussing more in the coming videos in our channel and to add on, after completing all these attempts, that is after placing in the reserved list, I have entered completely into the teaching arena and I have been mentoring students and I have associated myself with various institutes in Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai in the last 10 years. 
as i said earlier initially i worked when i went for the first interview soon after that i joined in rising ias academy as a modern indian history faculty then i worked in vision ias in delhi in 2016 to 17 as a upsc mains evaluator in addition i have worked in vajiram and ravi in delhi also as an upsc mains evaluator and question setter for mains examination and in chennai i have been associated with e class ias academy as a geography environment current affairs and modern history faculty and in addition in republic ias academy as a mentor and current affairs faculty i have worked also with an academy as a current affairs faculty and as a mentor in upsc pathsala in 2020 In addition to that in Bangalore I have been associated with three major institutes SUPSC India for IAS Sadak IAS Academy so here I have handled various subjects from current affairs economics and geography and to say some past achievements one of our student miss Tamil Ovia so i have personally mentored her for her upsc interview and she is able to clear all in their rank 345 with IAS cadet in west bengal and given here are some of the feedbacks have received in these various academies in the past that is in an academy have been listed in the top 10 best classes for current affairs in addition to that these are some of the feedbacks i have received from various students fine now i am going to discuss with you what is the purpose or the reason why i have started this youtube channel named current affairs hub see friends there are three main reasons behind that number one is that i wanted to share the knowledge especially with respect to statics as well as current affairs through a list of videos which we will be uploading in our youtube channel number 2 is that also i wanted to share my unique upsc experiences in this journey so far so through that it will help you to stay motivated in the upsc preparation process in addition to that i am going to make use of this platform to mentor you and come out of this examination with flying colors so what are the benefit you will be getting out from this channel number 1 as i said first is the concept clarity you will be getting for all the static oriented subjects since i have taught almost all the subjects major subjects in upsc starting from geography environment current affairs economics history so by making use of our channel you will be getting a very good conceptual clarity and this will be mainly useful not only for the fresher as well as for the candidates who have been already in the preparation process but not able to clear prelims or get stuck in the mains or get stuck in the interview will be sharing you or giving you the conceptual clarity which is very essential to clear the examination and number 2 is current affairs videos you will be getting benefited from our channel so the current affairs which we will be uploading in the coming days will be focusing mainly upon the articles from hindu and indian express and we will be also sharing with you the notes regarding that and you can make use of that for your revision also and the final thing is the tips and strategies for prelims mains and interview so with respect to prelims examination this is the toughest part in the three stages of the examination because every year around 12 to 15 lakhs are actually applying for the upsc examination out of which only 5 lakh candidates are actually appearing for the examination of upsc prelims and out of the 5 lakh candidates who are appearing for the upsc prelims examination only 10000 to 12000 candidates are actually called for the next stage of the examination that is the written or mains examination hence you should understand that prelims is the toughest stage out of the three stages of the examination and you should do very well here not only the preparation is important and also you should have a proper strategy or smart way to crack the examination and how you will be doing that we will be helping you with a lot of tips or tricks how to approach these questions and what are the important areas to focus not only in static part as well as in the current affairs part and that will be very much useful for your upsc examination and during the mains round since i have cracked the mains round out of the two uh, times which i have appeared so i will be sharing with you the unique ways how you need to approach the answer rating since answer rating is the main thing out of which you will be called for the next stage that is the final stage interview and more 
ஓவர் ஓவர் ப்ரிலிம்ஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஏ குவாலிஃபைங் ரவுண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ மெயின் ஸ்டேஜ் அண்ட் யுவர் மார்க்ஸ் இன் மெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஆர் ரிட்டன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் வில் டிசைட் வெதர் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபேஸ் தி இன்டர்வியூ ரவுண்ட் ஆர் நாட் ஸோ பர்ஃபார்மிங் ஹியர் இஸ் வெரி மச் குரூஷியல் ஸோ அவுட் ஆஃப் த டென் தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஆர் டுவெல் தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் கால்டு ஃபார் தி ரிட்டன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஒன்லி டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஆர் கால்டு ஃபார் தி ஃபைனல் ஸ்டேஜ் ஹென்ஸ் யூ ஷுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஃபெயிலிங் இன் தி ரிட்டன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஸ் நாட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் லேக் ஆஃப் knowledge rather due to lack of practice lack of time management and lack of understanding about the upsc mains questions and the lack of understanding how to address those questions in the examination hall these are the main crucial things i will be teaching you or i will be sharing with you as part of tips and strategy in the videos in our channel and the final round is the interview round in upsc we call this interview round as personality test so here also they will not only test your knowledge rather they will also test your broad personality level that is not only your intelligence quotient will be tested rather your emotional quotient will be tested in the personality round so what are the things you have to do before appearing for the interview and during the interview process how you should handle the questions which you know very well as well as to the questions which you are completely unaware of so how you should address those questions and what are the area as you need to prepare before going facing this interview round and how you should develop your body language and how you should dress properly for the personality test and how to handle the tension or stress inside the interview round very well so these things will be discussed in our coming videos and that will be very crucial for you to crack the final stage that is the interview round since i have a rich or plenty of experience regarding these three stages of examination and i have been attached with this examination for around more than 12 to 13 years this platform that is the current affairs hub will serve you as an enriching or enlightened platform to get aware about the three stages of the examination also to stay motivated during the preparation process i will be coming up with you lot of motivational videos also so kindly subscribe to our channel and if your friends are preparing for this channel you can share our videos also soon we'll meet you in the next video thank you friends